Yeah. Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Keep It 100. Um, back with a little video. Uh, thought I'd do a video on uh, my everyday carry, what I'm carrying right now. Um, the guns that I do have in rotation that I carry, or if I'm going out of town, what I have with me, uh, for the most part, houses and stuff like that. Um... <clears throat> First off, let me say appreciate everybody for the support. Everybody that subscribed to the channel, man, I really appreciate it. I promise y'all, I'm I'm working on, I'm trying to get uh, videos together to get out, especially like range videos between like life and um, just stuff going on. And down here, I'm in Arkansas. It's been no less than a hundred for the most part, man. It's just been tough to get out there to find a good day to get out there in the range and actually get a couple videos knocked out but i promise you y'all i haven't forgot i see the comments everybody giving me support giving me um things to work on things to watch for things to try giving me tips and i appreciate it all the love man i appreciate it if you got any uh any advice what if i show you something you like yo um you should try this or look into this or uh you know whatever it might be i'm open to everything you know what i'm saying um i'm still new to this gun thing so still trying to um you know get a nice get some cool things but also be safe number one you know what i'm saying i got three little kids so uh besides protecting them you know i need everything to be safe so yeah so uh i mean let's get into this little uh this is what i carry every day so um first i carry is what i'm carrying now because it's like i said it's a hot here in arkansas it's 100 degrees um so um if i'm not at work i'm in shorts shorts and a shirt you know it's what i need to have on you know so um and i'm a big dude i'm like six four 400 pounds you know so um what i'm carrying right now um, and this holster, this is just a little Codex holster that I found on, um, I want to say like Amazon. It wasn't that much. It was maybe like 20, 30 bucks. And um, it's been working out great for me. I do have a holster. I can't remember what gun it's for, but um, the USA holsters or something like that, which is, is, a, is a nice holster too. But for the most part, I have uh, so many guns that. I said I was going to carry that I got hostess for that I never carry. Um, now that I'm getting more educated and stuff, and, and now I'm looking at purpose and um, things that's useful instead of just looking cool, you know what I'm saying? But still on the budget because money ain't like that over here. But, yeah, this is just a little um, Codex holster that I have that works inside the waistband holster works. Works great. But this is, check it. Oh, it did have, I had to get that letter. It did have a round in it because, like I said, I do carry this. Um, I think y'all seen this once before. This is my Taurus PT111. Um, I want to say like GM1 or G2. Oh, lie. Say it right there. Millennium G2. Man, I love this gun. It's small. It's it's not heavy. It's light enough for me. Well, to me, um, and I get what's this? 12, 12, 13 rounds of nine mil in a in a gun this small. I, now I have pretty large hands, but for me, very small very small and compact um i'm not gonna put the magazine because i do have rounds in. but with the rounds in i can get my with the rounds in i'm able to get my my pinky in right there and get a full grip and still feel comfortable in it feel comfortable um i haven't had any problems out of this gun since it is my uh carry gun i keep it clean i keep it um oiled up um just 
ready to go because this is what I have on me every day and um, sites uh, uh, just regular white white dot sites I do want to change the front one out for a fiber optic but just haven't got to it but man I love this gun man for the round capacity and the size of it and when I put it on man I, just, um, I don't I don't too much feel it, man. I don't have to worry about it, it um, you know, in shorts, maybe pulling my shorts down or it being too heavy or anything like that. Um, easy to conceal, whether it's on me or in a bag or something like that, man. And I just have a little um, rechargeable um, that I put it on there maybe one night on the weekend or something when before I go to bed because <clears throat> I have um other firearms that i use this by me for you know something happened at night which i would go to but i have it on charge it's um nice bright little little light got strobe feature on it and it's easy for me with big hands right here boom trigger boom boom you know right there so um yeah man i love this gun i love the setup of it I love how I feel. I'm comfortable with it, which is important for me, um, for it to be comfortable in my hand and not me feeling like it's too small or, you know, just, I don't know, feeling weird. Takedown is easy. Um, yeah, man, I do, these are dope guns, man. The G2s, G3s, whatever gen they own now, uh, these Taurus guns are good guns. And as far as concealed carry, you know, when you, Thinking of like compact knives, man. Like if for especially budget wise, you can't beat this gun, man. You cannot beat this. And so yeah, this is dope. So on the lines of, this is my main holster. Okay, so sometimes when I'm wearing shorts or something, then maybe have a drawstring that I can't get too tight. Big guys or any guy, any guy, whatever. I have. Comfort tech. So, this is just a holster where you could, like, maybe strap around your waist or strap around maybe your midsection, your stomach. Have it off to the side, right? And show y'all. Is that the right? Hold on. That is the right way. Right. So, let me think. I'm trying to think of how I have it. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So, boom, if it's like to the side, go ahead and go in. You can strap it if you want to. You ain't got to because it's under your shirt. Boom. It even got another little pouch right here if you want to. Throw that magazine in there. Throw an extra magazine in there. So, let's actually see this is uh, pretty big and it stretches. It stretches. And you can make it as tight or loose as you want to. Um, I wear this quite a bit. Especially if I'm, say, um, if I'm carrying on me and we going to, like, taking the kids to the park. Or, you know, splash pad or something where I might be moving around, you know. Uh, run, have to run after a kid or something like that. You know, I don't want to ensure so I don't want my my gun to be shown or to be printed. So with this, I can put it around my midsection, my stomach, or even uh, put it around my waist and have my shorts over it. You know, where I can still get to it, but I don't have to worry about it, you know, pulling my clothes down or anybody seeing it or anything like that. So, um, I got this on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks, man. Hey, fellas, look into one of these, man. Um, I know you might see them a lot. Sometimes I be for ladies. I actually thought about getting my wife one. I'm trying to get, I'm going to get into that too. I'm trying to get my wife to carry more. She has her CDL also. CDL. She has her um, concealed carry. Uh, but she leave her gun in the car all the time. Or actually, it's been in the house. I've been telling her to put it 
back in her car and actually carry it. But trying to get her, trying to work her way into it. She haven't, she, um, she wasn't big on guns until me, you know. And I'm trying to get her into it, seeing how everything is going now in the world. She need to have it on her. So, um, yeah, steady working on that. But, yeah, um, Comfort Tech. I think that's how you say it. See it right there. Hosers. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. This would be between these two right here. That's uh, my everyday carry, man. That's that's what I'm rocking with every day. And um, had no problems out of that. None of it. Comfortable. And, uh, you know, out here doing what I need to do. I lost a round, but find out later as high as ammo used to be. Okay. My next one is my Canik. Now, this is a full size. Also, another um, Amazon holster. They haven't filled me yet. Uh, nice holster. Plus, it's decent. Um, Y'all, if you watch my gun collection video, you know how I feel about um, Canics. Um, I love these guns. The greatest trigger I ever, I ever had in my life on a gun. Um, 18 rounds in this gun. So a lot of, um, I carry this during the winter. Whenever I feel like carrying a full size gun, really. Um, if I got, Really, yeah, really when it get colder. If I got a lot of clothes on, jacket or something like that, something where I can really just, you know, conceal something very well, I will carry this. Um, I, I can't say enough about Canik. Um, I haven't had this gun a long time. Well, long enough. I had it maybe a year. Yeah. And um, I love this gun, man. Like I said, best trigger on a gun that I ever had. Obviously, now you'll see a lot of my guns have lights on it. Um, I went from, you know, lasers and stuff wanting everything to look cool, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But, you know, more that I start, you know, um, educating myself on, on gun safety and actually having to use a weapon and stuff like that, I'd really be able to see without what I'm shooting at, then, you know, accuracy, if I can see, I can be accurate, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, but yeah, man, this is just my, kind of like my winter when it get colder, when I, when I carry full size, I carry this gun, man, and like I said, with the trigger, and it is, I didn't show you the last one, but it is safe. It's nothing in it, no magazine in it. Take it out right here. If you haven't seen the uh, uh, Canic Trigger Man, let me tell you. All right, check me out. Wall, boom. Went, boom. Boom. Man, crazy. Yeah, man. Love this gun. And 18 rounds. If I can't if I can't get it done in 18, I, I got bigger problems. Like <laughs> um we retreating. Like I'm I'm gonna be retreating anyway. Hopefully I never have to do that, but 18 is a lot of a lot of rounds, man. So feel very comfortable. I'm not gonna put that back in, but feel very comfortable with this with that fire. All right, so as y'all know, in my other video, I am a musician. I have gigs and churches and different stuff I go to. So I know y'all see sometimes musicians come in, might have um, a gig bag, you know, guitar or drums or snare or something like that, and they'll come in and they have a backpack with them. You know, I have a backpack on. For the most part, um, 
let y'all know a little secret now. It's just like miscellaneous stuff. Like for me, I got patch cords, tuners, drumsticks, cables, headphones, <laughs> ivory and uh, tape, electrical tape, batteries. Literally, it's just a bag of something I needed in the past or I think I might need it. Different different weird cables and adapters and stuff like that that's what be in these bags most of the time and, a, and probably like a laptop if you got tracks or something like that that's like well that's not my church bag i have another bag but that's what's in it it's like that bag and so but in mine also i have my glock 21 so it's clear Y'all see it's clear. Um, you know, um, criminals and bad people ain't shy about shooting up churches lately. And me, um, my dad was a pastor. I grew up in the church. I've been going to church my whole life. My family goes with me to the church that I play with. And um, I'm don't, I don't play with my safety or theirs. So, in saying that, you come in my church or, you know, not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm, it's my job to defend everyone, but my family is there and I will protect my family. So this is a lot of time. This is in my bag all the time when I in that gig bag It's in there all the time and I still have my my main carry on my hip just in case if i forget that one something i know i got this in here but this is my glock 21 45 acp both those other ones were nine mil i don't think i said it but 13 rounds of 45 hollows in it this is just that um this is that um that just added protection you know that 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 it's time to get busy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right, 13 rounds of 45. Um, this I I'm trying to. I right, got to neutralize the threat. Uh, same stream light, flashlight, and laser combo on here. Um, but yeah, this is the church gun, you know, or the the gig gun, or you know, the spare gun, whatever you want to call it. But you no, know, it had to be a Glock, something reliable, something I know that's going to go bang every time, every time when I need it to. So that's why it is in the bag, and sometimes it's in the car because my bag stays in the car because, you know, musicians, gig is over with. We don't want to unpack that night. We do it in the morning or, you know, that's also, you know, after a gig, you packing up, you know, that's the worst part of a gig or service or something you got to pack up i know i got this with me you know i'll take this out and just put it on me just to make sure you know while i'm while i'm packing up or anything just in case something go left you know i know i'm ready but yeah not much to say about the glock y'all know what it is with these with glocks man reliable tough can't beat them so that's okay so let's go to this i do have a backpack gun too if we go on trips or something i do carry an ar with me and this is that is my um my 300 blackout um ar pistol that i built a while back i actually have to take um the mother device off it's in here i need to put it back on but um this is just just added you know just added protection um if we far you know out on a trip or something far away um just moving through states or something like that this i feel better with more with me you know this is just is she just here if she if i need it just i pray i never do but you know, if I, 
if that time call and I gotta defend my family and 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 clock in, you know, I, I'm here. I'm ready for it. You know, that's all it is. This is just me defending me, protecting me and my family, and that's all I'm out here to do. I'm not out here to scare anybody or you know to act like I'm a badass or anything like that. I just want my family to be safe. I want me to be safe. You know, and want to grow old and see my grandkids and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I have, you know, not have to worry about, you know, looking over my back at gas stations or grocery stores or parades or all the crazy stuff that's been going on in the world. You know, so, you know, this is just me trying to protect myself. And so, you know, this is just a... um What lowers is this? I want to say this is a um, Palmetto State Lower and a Delta Team Delta Team Tactical Upper. And can't remember the boat. Can't remember what kind of boat was in here. But got a flashlight on top. A little red dot that it actually is sighted in on the front too. Got my red dot up top. Got my um, angle, angle um, iron sights just in case my red dot fail. And I uh, carry. I have. I carry a full mag and um, an extra mag. This both full. So what's that? 30, 60 rounds of 300 blackout on top of my carry gun. If we go out, yeah. That's normally all it be. And yeah, and I, I carry that in my, my Jordan bag, fit it in here. It fits cool. And I'm on, man. And so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's what I carry. As far as um, none of these guns were over, except for the Glock. I think I paid like six something for that. But Taurus, I want to say like two fifty. Can it three hundred? Maybe you know what I'm saying. None of these was, was busting heads or nothing like that. But quality and reliability, man nice you can't beat them and another one side note for the ladies this is the gun i bought my wife on christmas yeah on christmas i think a couple years back or maybe a year back or something i can't remember this is um and it is safe um this is the tar spectrum i think yeah the tar spectrum Little bitty gun, little bitty uh, 380, hold six rounds of 380. Um, but how small this gun is, the 380 is actually a good round for this size because it's not too snappy. My wife can shoot this perfectly fine. Horrible, horrible sights on here. I don't know if you could do zoom in, but it's like just it's not it's not good at all. But you know, for for a woman, um, something small that they can conceal, that uh, you can defend yourself with this. More, most definitely more capable. I mean, most definitely capable of defending yourself with this. I do want to get my wife one of these. I thought about giving her this one and just giving me a newer one, and I still might do that because um, she. She is more than capable of handling a nine. She can shoot that gun just fine. Um, but I did paint. I don't know if you can see it. I had to put a little, a little dot of paint. I kind of like notched it off a little blood dark paint because it's black on black, so it's it's hard to pick up. Like when she's looking down sight, but now she can see that little paint. It's easy for her to pick up the sights when she shoots because they suck so bad. But this gun isn't bad. It's small, and I got her 
it's not snappy or anything. It's you can control this one no problem. Like I said, it's 380. Um, I bought her this little like padded holster thing. I really got it for because she don't carry holster inside, way outside. She don't do none of that. So I got it so she could put it in this and put it in her purse, put it in the part of her purse or something that she can get to, or some women can. You know, put it in there, put it in their shirt or something like that. Or, uh, you know, women wear tight clothes, put it in their pocket if they got jeans, but a lot of them not going to do that. But it is small enough that if you do get a little holster or find somewhere to carry it, it's easy. You know, it's easy to carry. It's light. It's small, very small in my hands. I fit in my palm pretty much. Um, I shot it a couple times. It's, it's all right. It's alright, little pistol. Um, for her, I think it's straight. It's 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 pretty cool for her. Six rounds should be, you know, plenty to stop someone trying to harm you, especially if you land your shots. So um, I do want to upgrade her though. I do want to do that because I want her to start carrying her own person, you know, because she needs to do that with. Because the world is crazy, y'all. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on and people doing stuff and not caring. It's just, it's getting crazy out there, man. Uh, I, I'll tell all my friends, man, y'all go get y'all concealed, bro. Especially if y'all got family. You know, you want to you want to protect yourself anyway. But especially, you know, go get your concealed, bro. You got a family, you got kids, bro. Um, Don't chance it. Don't chance it. Even even if you're not that big of a gun person, I'm not saying you gotta go to the range every weekend. But I'm saying if you get a gun, you do want to be proficient with that gun. You know what I'm saying? But just protect yourself out here, man. Cause it's crazy. People don't care no more, man. They just doing whatever they want to do. Shooting up parade show. I'm saying when I when I seen the grocery store, you know, shooting that they had. I think it was in like Buffalo. I could be wrong, don't mean me. But anyway, when they shot the grocery store, I'm like, yo, you can't I can't go get ooh, I can't go get no chips. I can't run to the store to get a soda. You know, without worrying about somebody coming in and shooting. And then you like, I can't go I can't go to my fourth of July parade without worrying about getting shot. You know what I'm saying? I can't can't go to down here we got something called Tulsa. Can't go to Tulsa. That's what you telling me? You know what I'm saying? So it's getting to where I can't go to church. I can't go get a praise or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Without without worried about getting shot. Man, it's just I'm not paranoid, yo. I'm just not I'm just not oblivious to what's going on. And um if I have anything to do with it, uh my kids are gonna grow up, you know to have kids and so on you know I don't want anybody in my family life cut short because of something stupid if I can help it you know if I can be there to to say you know to to even if it's just share knowledge or you know to just help point blank man but yeah I didn't mean to get that deep man uh that's my everyday carry. That's what I'm carrying right now. I'm going to have more videos coming. Video is kind of long. I'm going to start a minutes long. My bad, y'all. If y'all stuck through it this long, I appreciate you. I thank y'all, man. Keep showing me love, man. I promise I'm going to try to get more stuff out. Talk to me, man. Let me know some stuff. Share some knowledge with me, man. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to soak it in. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to be big. You know what I'm saying? I'm already big, but, you know, trying to trying to uh, represent this 2A community the best that I can, man, because I'm down for it. Uh, appreciate y'all. Um, subscribe, man, if you don't mind, if you like the video. Um, and appreciate y'all, man. Until next time, keeping it 100, Dre. Yes, sir.